Hello, Victor here, RestoryMercedes.com. Today I'm going to just show a quick, not quickly, but just to show what's inside the crystal that is found in these modules. Uh, now, this is from CLK 2003, <clears throat> but then and this is how it looks inside, which this, this one, the crystal is under the cover, so we can't see it. Um, the other one, let's say, this is a 99 C230 and a compressor. And uh, this one, the crystal was here. I removed it for another module because what happens with these is, you can see this one has some damages, so water damage. You can see water damage there. You can see some water damage on the connectors. Let's take a look. As you can see, the rust spot right here, right over here, so it's pretty bad. Also, rust on CAN bus. Uh, this module does not seem to work, so I could not communicate to it. But other than that, it looks decent, so maybe with some cleanup and what have you, that could be resurrected at this spot right here, for example. I know it's not in perfect focus because the focus is set up for something for the for the crystal itself let me try to <clears throat> uh, focus on this for example see this module here i didn't that i didn't even work on it yet i i don't really have a need but clearly we do have a sort of a problem here as you can see it appears that this point is damaged okay this point is damaged so therefore i have to well i'll take a look i mean you know if, if this module can be resurrected why not i would have it but the part in question and the video is about the crystal itself so this is the crystal right here there is a cover to it it's supposed to be sealed just like that and this particular piece i'm going to show you under magnification here and let's zoom on a little better Okay, so if we look at this part, it's a 4 megahertz. As you can see, there is some corrosion going on. This corrosion, if I start cleaning it, it comes off. But because this crystal was subjected to water damage, it rusted at the base and this case is compromised so it was opened up and the water got inside you can see rust inside and yeah that doesn't look too pretty this part was still intact so i had to cut it and just want to show you what's inside i mean i never saw what's inside these crystals i have a little bit of time to do some experiments so there is our crystal so we can see the actual crystal which is this glass piece and the connecting points one here a line and it's supposed to be I think it's like a layer of gold or copper it looks by the color it looks like it's gold well again I can be mistaken I'm not a manufacturer I'm not an engineer so this is just what it looks like this is obviously bad crystal because pieces are completely gone I guess rust took it away all right so that's one side and on the other side of the crystal this one is completely missing just the outline is left here is another connecting point and a layer of 
metal of some sort was supposed to be here. Uh, like I said, I don't know if it's gold or any other kind of metal, but this is basically the crystal and connecting points. So, yeah, this is it. This is this is the crystal right here. So basically, <clears throat> now I can understand why crystal can fail if there are damages, water damage, or if the case is compromised. So there is a possibility of the actually the connecting points or the the thin layer of metal to disintegrate or break. Therefore, crystal will not work and control module will not work. What I did is I had uh, uh, for the for some other uh, purposes I had another control module I don't know what car it was it was a 99 or 98 98 I think I just needed to put it into the 96 vehicle five-speed transmission 7 to 2.6 and um, that module I just needed for another experiment for diagnostic and it did not work. So I opened it up. It had lots of water damage. Unfortunately, I don't have any pictures or videos about it. Right around the area where crystal was. And this is the crystal that came from that very module. So you can imagine how much rust damage was all around. But I cleaned it all up. Cleaned all the chips. Uh, capacitor that was here was completely rotted out. It was not even secured to the board. Yeah, I already threw it away. And um, I sourced the capacitor from this one and the crystal from this module because this one didn't read. But I think um, it's because of the water damage in this area. So, yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to buy me a crystal like this on eBay or something. I'm going to solder it back in, solder it back in, put in a, another capacitor and see if this module reads again and act activates and reads again. It's good to have some spares. Uh, these computers usually always have transmission fluid going in them. It's not a secret. They all get flooded pretty much most, well not all, but most of them they do get flooded with uh, transmission fluid. Uh, this particular one seems to be absolutely dry from any fluid because it appears to be a replacement controller and uh, how we know is because it's made in 2003 and the vehicle was a 99 C230 compressor uh, with the sticker which is something that I don't really usually see when I remove these so but obviously 2003 produced module and vehicle is 99 so obviously this is a replacement piece probably the original one was flooded and failed and this was a replacement and um, they're different from one car to another and, uh, you know, the, I guess the shift points and torque specs and all that good stuff programmed in these modules. And therefore, it's good to have few laying around because this one, this module from CLK is different slightly from 99. C-Class, as you can see, there are differences. Um, the, um, you know, transmission is pretty much the same series, but obviously we have changes. Also, the module I put in, in that was made in 98 from, I don't think it was from S-Class, but I put it into the S-Class, and that particular module looks for can bus from cluster but the car is a 96 it does not have it so the error code keeps coming back so again it's not right so well that's basically all so now we know what's inside these tiny little crystal parts and a little bit of information about transmission control modules I guess it's an informational video about nothing. Like I said, I figured I'll make it. Just maybe it'll help somebody. All right, so this is it. Victor here, RestoreMercedes.com. Thank you for watching.